You know how safety lectures are really dull and boring? This one isn't, it really isn't. It revolves around three principal things, and believe it or not, they're things that you will never say or ever tolerate someone else saying who's shooting near you. Three things. Of course, the fundamentals, don't point it at anything that isn't a legitimate target. All the other stuff, treat the rifle as though are loaded. But remember it via these three things. These are, remember, these are three things you will not say, think, or tolerate. First one, it's okay, the safety's on. If someone says that to you, that means they're gonna do something with the rifle that they wouldn't do if the safety was off. That means they're gonna degrade their safe hang handling because a little piece of oily metal is holding back another piece of oily metal to block the trigger or to block something inside, to interrupt the, the, the firing mechanism. It's okay the safety's on is a nonsense. A safety catch is in addition to your safe handling, not instead of. You do not do anything with the safety on that you, you would do with it off. You do not adjust your safe handling because a rifle might ha have a mechanical device that's helping you not to shoot it when you don't want to. Safety devices are for accidents and unplanned stuff like falling over or dropping the rifle. It's not, it doesn't, ab doesn't give you the right to duck out of safety because it's on. Okay, that's the first one. Second one, it's okay, it's not loaded. Most common one of all. It's okay, it's not loaded. Well, you tell me when you look at a rifle if you can tell it's, whether it's loaded or not. The only assurance you have is from someone telling you it's not loaded, you can trust me, and he's about to degrade his own safe handling by doing something with this unloaded gun that he wouldn't do with a loaded one. Yet again, you don't adjust your safety and your safe gun handling to the fact that the rifle's loaded or it's unloaded. They're always loaded as far as safety is concerned, so always treat them that way. The final one, it's okay, it's only an air gun. This gets me seriously mad. What this means is, if this were a shotgun or a full bore rifle, I'd be really careful with it. But because it's only an air gun, I'm not gonna be so careful. This is again, someone is degrading their safe gun handling in accordance with the muzzle energy of the gun they're using. Utter nonsense. Don't say that, don't tolerate it, don't think it. Whether a shotgun, yes, it will take arms and legs off and things, but an air gun used in the wrong manner like anything else in life, used in the wrong manner can cause terrible harm. Use it in the right manner at all times. It's not okay because it's not capable of cutting a tree branch in half. It's not okay. We, we don't adjust our safe handling according to the muzzle energy, all right? So safeties don't make any difference to our handling. The fact that it's not loaded doesn't make any difference. And the fact that it's only an air gun doesn't make any difference. You handle them all as safely as you possibly can all the time. There you go, those three things. That wasn't dull. I'm very passionate about it and I want you to adopt the same sort of passion. Everybody on the firing range is a safety officer. Whether that firing range is at your club, at a competition, or in the middle of a field and there's only two of you. If you allow something to happen that you could have stopped, then you caused it. You allowed it to happen, so you stop it. Much better someone get the knock with you for pointing out something they're doing wrong than you allow it to carry on and something disastrous happens, all right? Dead easy. Remember those three things and remember all the other stuff. You'll have a much better shoot in life, I promise you.